Hello, hello, hello. Today is Tuesday, July 18, 2023. Problem 176, which is an extension of problem 175. It deals again with the reflection of unpolarized light of a flat plane of glass. Index of refraction in air is 1, and the index of refraction of the glass is 1.5. To solve 175, you would have to watch lecture 18 of 803. To solve this problem, you do not have to watch that lecture, because everything you have to know to solve this problem is given below. So it's all there. In other words, this is really, in a way, a math problem. So you see Snell's law here. In case of an unpolarized light beam, we must decompose the associated electric field into two components, one parallel to the incidence plane and one perpendicular to it. And so here you see the Fresnel equations. There are four Fresnel equations. Here you see the two that I derived in my lectures. You do not have to derive them. You may use these results. Theta 1 is the angle of incidence, which is the angle between the direction of the incoming light and the normal to the glass plate. The parallel component is parallel to the plane of incidence. P component is perpendicular to the plane of incidence. This problem has only one question. Using the above Fresnel equations and Snell's law, the question is, are there any values for theta 1 for which either are parallel or are perpendicular is zero? If there are such values, that means that after reflection the light is 100% linearly polarized which is remarkable, and you could then produce near 100% linearly polarized light at home. Isn't that wonderful? All right. So as I said, it's largely a math problem because I give you all the equations already which you need to answer the question.